Burj Khalifa, stunning architecture in the middle of the desert, a landmark project not just in the UAE but also around the globe. LED media facade makes it more attractive at night to the people who wish to visit this beautiful architecture at night. The media facade makes Burj Khalifa looks magnificent. Burj Khalifa media facade is just like a money making machines. According to Arabian Business, the advertisement cost of Burj Khalifa start from USD 70,000 for a 3 minutes video during the weekday and increases to USD 100,000 on weekends. It's not just about the money, an attractive media facade lighting makes the building spectacular at night. Also makes it popular around the city, people can identify the building easily. Do you know how many companies were involved and how was this done? Let's get into deep and see how the media facade is done and how it works. The media facade system installed on the facade of the tower in 2015 was initially intended to be utilized for a short time, only to support special events. As originally installed, the system was not designed for permanent and the challenge of maintaining it's become problematic. The first media facade was by pixel dot lights installed with a special custom made clip without any screw on the facade. In early 2017, Imar approached CDM lighting design consultant in Dubai to analyze technologies for replacing the existing system. Once the design has been finalized, Imar invited several companies to propose the media facade as per CDM lighting design concept. 3S Lighting and Sako propose the Slim Pixel Linear Lights V-Stick. And 3S Lighting and Sako has been awarded to light up the Burj Khalifa with a new media facade. V-Stick is a pixel control linear lights. It means each pixel can control individually. Each pixel has three colors, RGB, red, green, and blue. Each meters of linear lights contain 40 pixels. They started the production of customized lens V-Stick and also the V-Brain, the power and the data box, as per the requirements. But they find out electrical and data cable connection are complicated. The wiring layout is one of the most complicated things. Sako approached to a Spanish company to prepare the electrical layout. They use Dynamo software with parametric modeling tools for the drawing to make it easy and easy to understand at the site for installation team also the future maintenance. One, one of the requirement of Imar is that they cannot make any drill or screw to install the linear lights which is tough job for such a high-rise building. Sako made a customized stainless steel bracket to hold the lights with a vertical fin. Local partner 3S Lighting arranged complete logistic support and appoint JTS Johnson Technical Services for the electrical work. JTS start electrical work at site assembling the lights in the 3S Lighting warehouse and testing the lights before being sent to the Burj Khalifa. In the meantime, Spider Access company Gecko has been awarded to install the lights on the facade. They are taking the lights from warehouse to the site daily basis. Imar has been given a timeline to finish the projects. The deadline is the last week of December 2017 and all the team pushed their level best to complete the projects. Almost 50 spider team members work day and night and they are able to install 500 meters a day almost. A total of 28 kilometers of V-stick linear lights has been installed which is around 1.139 million LED RGB pixel. 250 kilometers of cable used to install the lights. It took total 7 months to complete the projects after a client given green signal. The whole media facade control from a control central controller room through software. 
At first, they create media design as per the facade size. Then the programmer carefully set the timing for each media. Do you wonder how they do the maintenance? How they find out which lights is damaged? Saku use RDM DMX protocol to control the lights. By RDM protocol, they can see the status of each beast linear. If any pixel not working, they can find out which fixtures are not working and where is the location. So they can send out the Froop access team to the exact location to rectify the light fittings. If you want to know more about DMX and RDM, I made a video to explain those details. You can watch it. What you can see in the Bruce Khalifa is just a pixel control linear lights, which provides high quality video output when working together. At last thing I would like to say, if you want to learn more about facade lighting, you can get our two months long course. It is live class course and I'm going to show each detail of facade lighting. Even if you are just a beginner in the lighting sector, you can be a pro facade lighting expert after the course. So don't be late, get the course now. I hope you like the video. In case you have any questions, feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe the channel.